there's something missing here in Sherwood Forest. Something that should be everywhere. Pretty much everywhere you look. And you may well be surprised as to what it is. If you walk or spend any amount of time in the countryside during September and October, look in the low vegetation and you'll invariably see this species of spider. It's one of our commonest spiders and often called the autumn orb weaver or autumn spider. That's because Metallina segmentata here prevails during the autumn months and it is indeed one of our commonest species. It's smaller than Arrhenius diadematus, the garden cross spider, and leggier, but very easy to determine this time of year. Well, relatively so, because there is a look-alike, but that look-alike, which is Metalina mengii, is more often found during the spring although the two can coexist at the same time. But generally, Metalina mengii is regarded as a spring spider, and Metalina segmentata here is regarded as more of an autumn spider. The male is in attendance here, in the top left-hand corner of the screen, and as you get into October and late September, you will often see male and female occupying the same web with the male always tucked up to the side of the web. They don't build much of a retreat if anything and it's usually just reliant on any f available foliage to give this spider cover during periods of wet weather. But it's an attractively marked spider, quite variable as well. But if you do see this species it's nearly always going to be Metalina segmentata that you see at this time of year. And it's one to look out for. But while there are still a few of these, they aren't here in Sherwood Forest in the numbers that they should be. There is a complete dearth of spiders here. And there's one spider that I haven't seen yet, and yet I would expect to see it all over the low vegetation, the trees and the shrubs of Sherwood Forest. And that's Arrhenius dilemmatus, the garden cross spider. I haven't seen one on my travel so far in the forest, and that's worrying. It is worrying. It's very worrying. In particular, because I think I've already mentioned a few weeks ago on this channel that Arrhenius dilemmatus, or the garden cross spider, is having a great year at home in my garden. In fact, I've just been talking to someone not 10 minutes ago here who lives in the same town as I do, and his garden is overrun with Arrhenius diadematus. Here, I haven't seen a single one. And I've been here now nearly an hour and a half wandering around, and I haven't found one. And they normally are draped all over these young oaks and the trackside vegetation. Even the spider we've just looked at, Metalina segmentata, is in a tremendously short supply. There just isn't any spiders. And for there to be no Arrhenius diadematus, the garden cross spider, it's unprecedented as far as I can remember. In previous years I've come to the sort of older parts of Sherwood Forest where there is no sort of understory or underlying vegetation. And Arrhenius diadematus webs have been strung five, ten metres between trees. Quite remarkable. This year, there's nothing. What I'm going to do, I'm going to walk down here into the area where Dillis and I always used to look for Cryptocephalus coralli. There's lots of oak scrub there, or oak regrowth. 
and I'm going to have a look around there, but to not be able to find a garden cross spider is unheard of. I've never known anything quite like this. With them being so common in the garden at home, I would expect them to be even more abundant here. But apparently not. Well, the lack of spiders continues. I have managed to find another pair of Metalina segmentata. The female has just dropped out of the web a little bit, but the male is top of your screen. Always in pairs now, Metalina segmentata, but it is just unbelievable the lack of spiders here. Just, I'm quite lost for words actually because I've not, I've not seen anything like this before. I've known numbers fluctuate, yes, but not to this degree. I have just seen one Arrhenius diadematus, not quite fully grown, and that's the only one that I've seen, and that was just couple of yards away from the Metalina segmentata male that I was just filming that you've just seen otherwise place is devoid devoid of webs and this habitat here is perfect in fact there's more scrub here there's far more scrub here than what there was sort of 10 years ago but it's perfect habitat for all weavers, lots of growth which can support the main fixing points of the webs. But there's just no spiders. It's so strange. I've known species have say poor years before but not to have poor years at one site and then found in normal or really good numbers at other sites and they took gardens as well very very strange and quite worrying although no doubt numbers will pick up again at some time and this may well be a remnant and a result of last year's summer. I've never seen anything quite like it. Well, I have found one. She's spun a web between two of these small scrub oaks, or this oak regrowth. She's not actually sat in the middle of the web, but... She's a typical coloration that I would expect of a garden cross spider, although they do vary considerably. And certainly several specimens that I have in the garden at home are all very different. This one, beautifully marked in shades of various browns, and then the paler, almost white or creamy white markings. You can just about make out the familiar sort of broken cross sign it is inverted as you look at this particular spider but it's nice to find one so she's not fully grown she's probably got another molt to go but at least i have found a second they're beautiful spiders they really are and i feature these quite a lot because most people watching this will recognise and be familiar with this species. This is a spider that you're going to get in your garden, even if there's a general lack of greenery 
in that garden. These will often build their webs against fences. So I'll have a wander around and see if we can turn up a few more. And another one. Three garden spiders doesn't make a terrific population though, no matter what the site. This one's pretty much finished completing a brand new web by the look of this. Just those last few spirals to complete. Slightly lighter shade than the one we've just looked at. But where are all these garden cross spiders? It's all right, I thought it was going to fall down then, so I thought I'll keep it upright by leaning against it. Save it for at least one more day. But I've gone all around this area and only found another two Arrhenius diadematus and another two, funny enough, Metallina segmentata. I can't believe the lack of both species here, but it's general even for some of the Linifids, like Linifia triangularis, which is a very familiar sheet weaving spider. You often get that on your shrubs and plants in gardens. It's another very common spider, and that also seems to be in short supply here. But most notably, it's Arrhenius diadematus and Metallina segmentata, two of our more familiar autumn orb weavers. Numbers will presumably pick up, but it just goes to show how within a matter of a few miles, very, very low numbers here, and yet good numbers, relatively speaking, and certainly increased numbers for a number of years of Arrhenius diadematus in the garden. It's very strange though, the lack of spiders here. And it's only the 30th of September, so I can't blame a late date. It's, if anything, we're getting to the peak of Arrhenius diadematus season. And some of the spiders here aren't fully grown yet. They'll have another molt to go by the looks of them. Yet the ones in the garden, are clearly fully grown. But one of the oddities of nature really and the variances that you get from year to year. Hopefully next year will be very different here in Sherwood Forest and there will be a lot more spiders. Your typical number of spiders to help keep those flies down. 